Come on in. It's another episode of the Bridging Insider, and today our guest is Megan. And Megan, do you have something that we you hope we would be able to help you with today? I'm hoping to help with my balance a little bit. Okay. And for those of you at home, I have already seen Megan once, and this is actually a follow-up session with her to check back in. And what's kind of unique, and I thought would be nice for you to see, is that Megan doesn't have anything that's happened to her. There's no surgeries, no injuries, no, no nothing. So why would her balance be off? And what we originally um, worked on was just to kind of get her more centered. And the, to explain that a little bit, I have a Rubik's Cube. Um, and what we found is that if we think of her core as having three layers to it, like across the shoulders, across the middle, and across through the hip area, it was almost like her core was like the top and the bottom match, but not the middle layer. So we had to do a little work in her core to get all the layers linked up and so that uh, she felt more put together. And um, usually that has a sense of calm. Feeling a little more calm these days? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just kind of easier to handle what life is, has thrown at you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so I'm Kara Lindell, and I am the founder of the Bridging Institute and the Bridging Technique, where we're using physics to put the body back together with the micro movements that are the flows and the transitions of how all your muscles work together. And um, so we have some things to check for you on balance. Uh, we did a little screening beforehand and found that right side is just not as fluent as the left. And when we were working with your core, it was the right side, it was, it was shifted from right to left through the middle. So maybe that's just the next step of putting things together. But with balance, another um, factor that can come into play is how are our, how is vision, how is that impacting things? And you know, every, you go to the eye doctor and um, they check your eyes do very specific things. Can you follow and can you see um, correctly? And, give you some glasses if you need that. But we find that there's another aspect of vision and it's how are our eyes working with our body. And so one of the things I like to check is linking up arms and hands with eyes. So we're gonna have Megan hold this and I'm just gonna move this around a couple different ways and just follow it and uh, we'll just see how easily um, and smoothly everything transitions. So we're just gonna go side to side Good, and then we're gonna go a little up and a little down. And you know, for people playing sports where you're trying to look at balls coming at you from above, this is really handy because sometimes it, you can see that um, eyes jump. Hers are doing fine. But another thing we have to do is transition around. And what you'll notice is her head moves one way and I think Shoulder <laughs> kind of tips a little bit, and also it's the right side. So it's just, it's a very sophisticated piece of um, how different parts of the body work together with the sensory system. So um, you haven't had any concussions or head injuries that you know of. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're going to see is what was going on in her middle, if we get that a little bit better integrated, does that change how she's able to orient with her head and her core? Um, so let's do some checking. Um, let's just start with some of the basics first. Let me put this down. Just, you know, from a, a standing still point, do you move from side to side? So it's much easier and more fluent to move um, to the, from the right to the left than left to right. And if I turn, there's a little turn to the left and a little turn to the right, but it just doesn't seem easy. Um, and you like to be athletic and mm -hmm. do uh, stay active, so we want that just to be a little bit easier. Um, so kind of all of those could be a little easier, but they're not stuck, which is good. Um, sit down. Let's see what, what changes. And so we're going to do the same thing, just a little side to side. And that's actually so much easier, which kind of suggests to me that maybe your legs have something to play. So it's when you turn to the right, what's interesting is it doesn't feel like it turns as a unit. It feels like it just kind of, it gets there, but it skips. Um, like if gears are not connecting, they just like slide. Mm -hmm. um, so lay down on your back. Let's check a couple other things. 
Excellent. Okay, we're gonna put legs down. And we're gonna see how does that leg moves beautifully and so does this one, terrific. I'm gonna grab an arm and a leg and we're gonna see if you roll toward me. Not so easily. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what the other side does. So. Okay, well, what's interesting is hip starts to turn, but not the shoulder. So it's almost like you're still a little bit isolated in the middle. Um, before we worked with you on your side, putting pieces together in the core. Um, I Let's try doing a little bit with you just laying down and just get some movement going back and forth side to side and then kind of bring that down to your legs and then um, recheck and see how your, if your legs are more even. I do want to check one thing of just leg core instead of arm and uh, leg and core. So I'm going to hold at your knee, just relax. I'm going to turn toward me. This side of you ought to start turning. Okay, very good. It seems like as soon as this turns, then the whole rest turns instead of just a little bit at a time. Well, let's see what the right, you know, the left side does. Get out of the way. And that's just a little bit more of a sequential flow to it. So it's almost like your right side, it works together, but it works as a whole instead of a bunch of little pieces. Um, so we're gonna take two of our little fun peanut balls and just going to put one on one side and one on the other, and we're just going to play around back and forth and see if we can get right and left to match up. And then we'll recheck that and uh, see how we go. Okay, so uh, it feels like that nestles in pretty good. Feel okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just going to playfully go back and forth. And what I notice is I am only moving a little bit in the middle, and I see a lot of movement in your head and your feet. So it's it ought to be less at your head and feet, and it's actually more. So we're going to just hold and really slow things down. And this is where physics comes into play because it's um, uh, movement and how it should dissipate. Mm -hmm. And part of our body, the design of our body is with respect to the ground is how we dissipate force. And uh, if force gets stuck, then that's usually where we get stress and pain. Oh, there we go. Okay, now this is moving easier and your head's not moving and your feet are just moving a little bit. And so supporting right at the base of the ribs where the diaphragm muscle is. So maybe it needed a little help um, to be able to relax and recenter. And I'm gonna come down a little bit and love it. Gosh, that's moving so easily now. And just kind of play around up and down. Beautiful. Okay, let's recheck how this leg and your core work together. So <laughs> it rolls more in a, a, a fan rather than just a whole chunk. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if overall, so much better. yeah. Okay, let's see how if that changes the left side. They are much more similar. The thing I would like to improve upon is your shoulders. They are, they seem like they're both not connecting so well to your core now. Um, so let's, I'm just gonna give each one of them a little tune up. And so if the core changes and your ribs can move differently, the muscles from your core end up attaching to the shoulders. Uh, maybe not directly, but through a, a series, and there we go. Um, so sometimes we just have to take where something changes and just kind of cascade that through so that all the muscles in your body can shift. Um, so one of the differences of working with little kids is you really don't have to help it much. You change one thing and just everything changes. And uh, the older we get and the stiffer we get, the more we have to help it. <laughs> There. Oh, that seems really nice through your elbow and your wrist. Let's check the right one and then make sure the shoulder moves. And then we're gonna check how much your head moves because originally when I met Megan, her head did not move much at all. And 
Although it was better when we finished, when your core was stacked up better, it, um, uh, it still could be, mm -hmm. could be a little more fluent. There we go. And just kind of refreshing how everything transitions between her elbow, shoulder, and wrist. When her wrist turns, can it move independently of the elbow? And then does that link up through the shoulder? Because now we're going to check into core. That actually is pretty nice. And let's see if they're both similar. So well, they don't match, do they? Which one feels like it moves more? I feel like the left one. No, the right one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a little more of a tune up on the on the left. Just kind of making sure, no matter where she's having um, force, whether it's the forearm or the elbow or the upper arm, that it transitions all the way through. There we go. Okay. Well, let's check that again. And that seems pretty even. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's see what's going on with your head. <laughs> Hopefully it's moving. Very nice. And turning. We oui. Very nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. Okay, so let's have you sit up and let's, let's try this again with what we were checking earlier. Go ahead, stand if you want. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and hold this. And I'm going to just go side to side. Okay, so already I noticed something that's different. My eyes are tracking easier. It's just easier. You're moving mm -hmm. faster and more fluently. <laughs> and your head still stayed still. <laughs> your eyes could move. Uh -huh. So... Um, you know, so many of us get visual stress and tight shoulders and neck with all the video and reading and computer stuff that we do. Sometimes it's not the fault of your head and your eyes. Sometimes it's somewhere else. So for you, a lot of it was just getting you matched up through this middle mm -hmm. and then kind of refreshing how the middle transitions out through the legs and the arms. And then that allowed your head to move more easily and um, and your eyes and your arms to work together more easily. So that was really cool. Let's check how you're moving from side to side. Oh my gosh, that's so much smoother. Mm -hmm. And there, love it. And forward and back. And I hardly have to move at all. I can just barely push and you're just like flowy. <laughs> and I also, one of the things that... Um, because you are you are pretty athletic, mm -hmm. and but your core had been really stiff, so you were a master of getting it to work. Mm -hmm. And so I always had to stop and like, no, don't don't help, let me do it. And then there'd be this rigidity, and now it's like you're not trying to jump in and, and make it happen. Right, and it's not conscious. It's all yeah. Like it felt like you were doing something totally different. I know you're doing the same thing. <laughs> so, yeah. So the the impulsivity is mm -hmm. like all. Um, uh, ratcheting back. So that's great. So life should be a little calmer for you. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let's see. I think that is all we need to recheck. Um, any questions? No, oh, that was great. Okay. So hopefully um, all the balance with the left leg or the right leg, pardon me, will actually feel smoother and easier um, just around the house and with whatever else you're doing um, because your core is actually, it's it's moving now in a really centered and really um, differentiated way. Because mm -hmm. before it was like one side was working like this and the other side was working like this. And it was hard for, hard for your core to work together, mm -hmm. but also for your arms and legs to connect to that. Mm -hmm. So um, good deal. So for those of you at home, um, the problem solving and the process that we go through to figure out where to start and what, uh, what to match up, um, that's what we teach. And you can find information about that in the show notes. Um, if you're feeling like your balance is a little off and you're not sure why, um, we have ways to tease it apart that are a little different than um, some other more traditional approaches. Uh, so you can find information for scheduling on our website. Um, thanks for being here. Um, give us a thumbs up and a li uh, like and a subscribe. And um, thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>